Hello everyone, this is Visionary from Dream Evil Concepts. And today I'm going to show you how to make a rollover button using Adobe Photoshop CS2 and Dreamweaver CS3. Uh, let's get started then. In Photoshop, we're going to go File, New. I'm going to use be using 400 pixels width and 400 pixels height with a resolution of 72. Let's grab the rectangular marquee tool and make a new layer by clicking the new layer button be the second button from the right in the layers option window or you can click control shift new now let's drag our button out you want to just click in the canvas and press the left mouse button down and drag now I'm going to be doing a button with rounded corners on top and flat uh, bottom so I dragged it out so I can either fill it by pressing the right mouse button, choosing fill, or clicking the paint bucket tool. If you don't see the paint bucket tool, right click where the gradient would be and choose paint bucket. Now make sure your color, your default colors are black and white. If they're not, just press D, and if it's on white, press X to switch them. Primary colors are right here. Now let's fill the selection, black. I'm going to go to select, modify, smooth. I choose pixel sample radius of 6. Now I'm going to press right mouse button, select inverse, and press, uh, excuse me, delete on the keyboard. Now you can see the top ones are round and so are the bottom. So I need to fix that. Grab the marquee tool again on the same layer of the button drag just a little bit bigger than the box and cut off like this and then press delete to cut off the bottom. Now I'm going to duplicate the layer just so I have a backup in case something goes wrong. I'm going to apply a gradient. And to do this you can either double click in the layer or come down here in the bottom where the tools are, the options or whatever. Click this, the blending options and choose gradient overlay simple button. I'm going to choose let's choose a green color. Okay, now I'm going to make a little uh, like a vent looking thing on it. I'm going to press control or hold control and press the, uh, click the uh, thumbnail and that will select the layer. Make a new layer go select, modify, contract contract by six pixels. Now I'm going to grab the gradient tool go to the, where the paint bucket is and right click and choose gradient tool. Make sure your colors are black and white primary being black, secondary being white. And come up here and click the drop down box. And scroll all the way to the top and it should be the second gradient from the left. This is the default. Now I'm going to hold shift and drag from the top down a little bit. I'm going to press Control D to deselect. As you can see, it's a little bit big for my taste, so I'm going to drag out a new box and press right click, feather, choose six pixels, and hit delete. Okay, looks a little bit better. Okay, now this is our main button, so I'm going to add the text in now the text, you're going to hit the text tool here, click it, and just click anywhere on the button here. Type out your text. Now, to get this window here, I prefer using this for the text. You're going to go Window, Character. I have it set to Shift F8. Scale the size down. You can, if you're in this window, you just choose here. Go down. If you're not, you select the text tool, double click in the text, and choose here. 36 is good. Okay, now I'm going to 
gonna duplicate. I'm gonna click the text layer. I'm gonna hold shift and click the black area here, layer two, and the button layer one. I'm gonna right click on one of these layers and go duplicate layers. Press OK. Now we have our second button. Let's choose a different background. Go to gradient overlay. I'm just going to flip the gradient. Bring this back on. This little eye brings layers invisible or visible. And change the text to. Okay. Now let's save the buttons. This is our first button, so first I need to make the canvas a little bit smaller. I'm going to grab the crop tool, which is right here. Only tool there, and whatever you watch, just like this. Click the left mouse button and drag where you want. And then, if you don't have all what you want selected the first try, you can just modify it with these little points here. Just move the mouse over it and drag over it. So, that's good. I want to click the little check mark and go to File, Save As. Let's go. New folder on the desktop. Test, open. I'll make an images folder since we're going to be using a website. And type it as button. The format is PNG because we want the background to be. When doing this, we want the background transparent, so make sure you turn the background layer off. Go to File, Save As, Images. I'm going to save it as button and the format as a PNG. Now let's bring the second button, the rollover button layers out. Go to File, Save As, and save this as Rollover Format PNG again. Okay, now we're done with using Photoshop. So let's get Dreamweaver open. That was previous test to make this, which I messed up on. The audio. Go File, New. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a new blank page, HTML. Page type, layout, none. Press create. Make the background darker, darker to make it easier to see. Now we'll come to our common tab. This is usually set at images. You want to click the little down arrow right here and go to rollover. We're going to name this button one. Let's go to our original images. Come to the folder we saved in this. Choose button. That's the regular button. And roll over for a rollover. Duh. And alternate text, just click button one. And you can either type the URL in or click browse and choose a file or whatever. So I'm gonna just type one in now. That's where you can find this tutorial at. And as you can see it here, we're going to go File, Save As. You would normally save it as an index page, but seeing how this is the only thing on it, I will. Open with Firefox. There's a normal button, roll over. And I hope this helped you learn something new today. You can find this tutorial at uh, dreamevilconcepts.com. Thanks for listening.